How to prepare and operate your Vulcan braising pan. In this video, we will cover how to prepare and operate your Vulcan braising pan for initial use. We will demonstrate how to operate and care for the unit. All demonstrations in this video have been performed by trained professionals. In partnership with Hobart Service and authorized warranty service providers, Vulcan offers a new equipment checkout free of charge. The new equipment checkout ensures equipment has been properly installed and is operating correctly. To schedule, contact your sales representative. The braising pan is a versatile piece of cooking equipment. It can be used to stew, simmer, steam, sear, pan fry, grill, or saute food products over an evenly distributed heating surface. Once the product is fully cooked, the pan can be tilted to easily remove the product. Warning, the tilting braising pan and its parts are hot. Use care when operating, cleaning, or servicing the braising pan. Before first use, confirm that the braising pan has been properly leveled before use. Use a carpenter's level on the braising pan's tabletop and adjust the feet to ensure that the equipment is level both side to side and front to back. All Vulcan braising pans come standard with flanged feet. If casters are preferred, they can be ordered as a separate accessory. When using casters, always make sure front casters are locked in place so the unit does not move during operation. Use a non-corrosive, grease-dissolving commercial cleaner to remove the protective metal oils from all surface parts and the interior of the braising pan. Follow the cleaner manufacturer's directions. Rinse thoroughly and drain the pan. Wipe dry with a soft, lint-free, clean cloth. Electric Brazing Pans Verify the electrical being supplied to the unit matches the rating plate. Electric brazing pans do not require any adjustments before startup. Gas-powered brazing pans Important! The entire flue duct opening, located across the rear of the brazing pan, must be left uncovered. Lighting the pilot and shutdown if you have a gas unit, follow these steps to light the pilot. Verify that the gas supply matches the unit's identification tag for natural or propane gas. Turn the main gas supply to the brazing pan to the on position at the shutoff valve. Lower the brazing pan to the down position. The brazing pan will need to be in the down position before the unit's pilot or main burner will activate. Note. The automatic lift cannot raise or lower the brazing pan unless the lid is fully opened. Turn the black on-off switch to the on position. The on position is indicated by a glowing red light on the control panel. The heat light will illuminate amber when the unit is calling for heat. Turn the thermostat to the desired cooking temperature to ensure operation. Note. If the pilot does not light, verify the pan is in the down position, put the on-off switch to the off position. Wait five minutes before repeating the steps to relight the pilot. Nightly shutdown. For nightly shutdown, lower the brazing pan to the down position and turn the on-off switch to the off position. Note, in case of a power failure, there will be no flames because the combination control valve will shut off the gas flow. In the event of a power failure, immediately turn the on-off switch to the off position. Once power is restored, turn the on-off switch to the on position to resume cooking. Important brazing pan operation information. Warning, do not use the brazing pan as a deep fat fryer. It should be used only for shallow pan frying. Cooking oil film not more than 1 8 inch or 0.3 centimeters thick. Using the brazing pan for deep frying could result in a fire hazard. To prevent discoloration of the stainless steel cooking surface, do not turn the heat on unless the brazing pan is covered with a thin layer of cooking oil, fluids, or food to be cooked. Do not overheat the clad stainless steel plate by setting the temperature well above recommended temperatures or by operating the brazing pan without any fluid inside the pan to absorb the heat. Overheating the plate may cause warping and will carbonize any cooking oil on the plate and cause sticking. Vulcan lids are manufactured to be adjusted for venting steam. 
The lid is spring-loaded and will stay in any position at which it is placed. After some time, the springs may need to be tightened. Call your local Vulcan authorized servicer to make these adjustments. Operation. Turn the on-off switch to the on position and turn the thermostat to the desired temperature to put the brazing pan into operation. Brazing pan lift system. The brazing pan lift system comes in both manual and automatic. Important, keep the area underneath and around the brazing pan clear of hands or any other objects when operating the lifting system. Do not obstruct any of the moving parts of the lift system. This area must be kept clear of any objects or obstructions at all times. Do not leave the brazing pan in the up position for extended periods of time, such as overnight or during a shutdown period, as it may cause strain to the brazing pan gearbox. Brazing pan manual lift. The crank for the manual lift system is shipped inside the brazing pan. There are two pins on one end of the crank. Insert the crank through the hole on the control panel so that the two pins engage in the slots of the speed reducer coupling located behind the panel. Turn the crank handle clockwise to lift the brazing pan and counterclockwise to lower the brazing pan. Important. This manual lift system is not affected by a power failure and can be operated during a power failure. Note, refer to the maintenance section of this manual for lubrication and maintenance instructions. Brazing pan automatic lift. Warning, always remove the manual crank handle before operating the automatic power lift. If the manual hand crank is not removed, it could result in injury. The manual crank should only be used in the event of a power failure or a service-related issue. The automatic lift cannot raise the brazing pan unless the lid is fully opened. The pan lift is controlled by the gray rocker switch located on the control panel. Press the upper half of the gray rocker switch to raise the brazing pan and the lower half of the gray rocker switch to lower the brazing pan. The switch must be held for continuous raising or lowering of the brazing pan. In case of a power failure, always use the hand crank to lower or raise the pan. Using the frame support system. All brazing pans are provided with a frame support for holding a food receiving pan when unloading prepared foods. Follow these steps to use and lower the frame. Pull the frame support out and up until it locks. The support will accept food receiving pans of 12 inches by 20 inches up to six inches deep. When lowering the frame support, push in on the hinges until they bend, then lower the support. Cleaning Warning! Disconnect the electrical power to the machine and follow lockout-tagout procedures before cleaning. Some units are purchased with a draw-off valve. It's extremely important this valve is cleaned properly. Refer to your operations manual for instructions on how to properly care for this part of the brazing pan. Clean your brazing pan regularly. Keeping the plate surface clean is one of the most important steps. If the plate surface is not properly taken care of, it can create carbonized grease on the surface, which hinders the transfer of heat from the pan surface to the food and can result in giving foods a highly unsatisfactory and unappetizing appearance. Here are a few simple cleaning procedures that have been found effective for keeping stainless steel equipment sparkling clean. Use ordinary soap or detergent and water for routine cleaning of stainless steel. To prevent water spots and streaks, rinse thoroughly with warm water and wipe dry with a soft, clean, lint-free cloth. The addition of a rinsing agent will also help prevent spotting. Refer to your operations manual for more information on what cleaning agents are recommended for different types of stains. Precautions. When scraping off heavy deposits of grease or oil from stainless steel equipment, never use steel scrapers. Particles of the steel may become embedded in the surface of the stainless steel. These will rust, causing unsightly stains and possible contamination of food. Where it is necessary to scrape, use wood, plastic, or rubber tools. Now you are ready to use your Vulcan brazing pan. For more information on operating and maintaining your equipment, refer to the operation manual on the Vulcan website.